Welcome everyone. I uh, thought I'd make a quick video today just showing you a new hive that I'm testing, trialling. It's a full plastic hive from Newplas. That's a company in Australia and uh, versus your standard timber version stand and tree cover and uh, these are eight frame units full full depth <clears throat> so um, let's take a look this is a logo of the company look I don't know about the price it may be outdated please don't take it as something that they are doing or that I'm doing on on their behalf it's just from a, an old um, advert that I had and this is what it looks like and so far I must say that I like what I see so I thought I'd share that with you in um, in real time so there it is <coughs> the whole unit is quite nicely packaged a very very sturdy very tough um, I find it the design is quite good that it does not retain water anywhere there's drainage holes pretty much everywhere um, ventilation holes built into the covers four of them this deck is very tough as you can tell it's very very durable um, good for your straps um, and all round uh, very good cover, very very good uh, top. What I like probably the best is the integrated entry gate which is just fantastic idea. Very very easy to close your bees in and out. Um, you've got extra um, attachment holes which I believe are there to allow, sorry I'll just move across, to allow to drill in some uh, additional holders I believe for some a contraption like this uh, but I have not seen one so I can't speak on their behalf um, I think that you can email or contact them or have a look at their website but the only downside that I can think of on this is the size of the entrance it's not adjustable would have been nice to have you know one or two sizes or two or three different openings that you can open and close as required <coughs> inside you can see eight frames I like the amount of space that they have left on the sides it makes great ventilation and um, insulation for the bees which I think will go quite well <coughs> on the side here it's all screwed with stainless steel three screws and these just slot in I think I'll just show you how, how they work in a moment from the back looks the same the handles are quite comfortable to actually carry even by hand but you could certainly screw on additional timber if you'd really want the additional grip. Um, I've been told um, by the gentleman that uh, these are a standard handle which will fit your um, lifting equipment if you're a you know high volume beekeeper. <coughs> and here you have the base. As you can see the base is ventilated, um, again very sturdy, I must say this thing is quite quite solidly built, it's all enclosed so you know it will not hold bugs or anything like that, um, it has the mash for reinforcement um, and you know the size of the ventilation holes uh, will uh, drop out your higher beetles 
for our good air circulation. Just all in round, all in all. Very, very nice. Very solid. And you just put your boxes on top, like so. And uh, add more to your height. So let me just show you that. So, very easily. Add one on top of the other. There's no ledges. Some of these plastic hives that I've seen, they have ledges and slots and things. This is just a standard Langstroth. It's, uh, from what I can see or tell, it's uh, compatible completely with with the timber ones. <coughs> so even your tops, if you've got them, everything should fit perfectly. Keeping it nice and straight edges and uh, you know, it makes it easy to stack on your trailers or on your trucks if you if you're big enough beekeeper. And certainly the timber ones should fit on top. Sorry for the camera work there. Which they do. So there you go. So no need to throw away your old equipment. Now of course the pros and cons of of timber versus plastic that's a debate for another video there, but I thought I'd share this with you because I'm quite impressed so far and it takes all of, uh, I don't know, maybe five minutes to put one of these together. No need to paint, no need to um, ever do anything with it, won't rot, etc. So I think it's fabulous and the bees don't live on there, the bees live on the the timber uh, frames so you know I've just got a starter strip here um, so the hive uh, so the bees can draw their own uh, comb um, so yeah I'll show you how that's all screwed together see what you think so it comes with uh, these screws rust proof all you need is uh, just a quarter drill, a cheap little drill, and this is uh, how easy it is if you want to store the unit after a season. It just basically flat packs, like so, which makes the storage very, very easy. And you know, that's all it takes. It's all the space is brilliant and to put it back together you just slot them back into these grooves put your three screws in which I'll just show you briefly now but I think that if you've ever screwed a screw <laughs> this should not be a problem and it's a matter of um, a few minutes if that so there you have it you have your side piece your wall it's just a matter of putting them together quick three screws of course you don't want to run your screws through too much yeah you want to have a just right put your drill on a slip through if you if you don't trust your drilling skills and your second piece on the side same process make sure that your your frame top is on the same side. That's probably the critical bit. Then I don't know how long this took, but I'm pretty sure that once you're all set up, you could probably knock one out in one minute. Knock one out meaning one of these, of course. I can just see the comments coming through. That. Can assemble one f per minute. Very easy. Another 
question will be how these perform with honey in it being all propolised and uh, having a bit of weight behind them. Um, possibly even the heat and whether they warp or not. But it does look quite sturdy. And uh, there it is. Ready to go. So for winter, storage, nice and easy, don't need any room, get flat packs, and uh, all in all just a very nice unit, I must say, I'm, I'm impressed. So let's see how it performs this season. I'll just show you the brush one more time with the logo. Upside down, apologies. New class. Of course, they're quite a lot more expensive first up, but we'll see. See if it goes well, performs well. It's certainly going to save us a lot of time in painting and maintenance. Um, so, if you add all that up, <laughs> and the fact that these should last you 20, 30 years, possibly even, or at least 10, um, you know, it's already half the price of any timber ones. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe if you find it useful and um, give us a thumbs up if you can. It all helps. Thank you. Bye.